Greetings to all learners. Myself Sharda Devri welcomes you to lecture 33 Institutes involved in medicinal and aromatic plant research under the week 7 market analysis and success stories. There are various institutes in India involved in the plant research. The first one it is the CSIR that is a Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. It works on the various uh, research areas of the science and technology through the 38 national laboratories, 39 outreach research centers, 3 innovation complexes and 5 units. It involves in the many areas like the geophysics or genomics or the nanotechnology but the most important are the chemicals, drugs and the biotechnology. The CSIR is used to file about 200 Indian patents and 250 foreign patents per, per year and the about 14% of the CSIR patents are licensed and the CSIR holds the 17th rank in Asia and leads the country at the first position. Next it is the NBRI which is a National Botanical Research Institute and this is also the constituent of the CSIR. This is uh, generally involved in the infrastructure development uh, related to the plants that is a botanic garden or distance research centers. Then it also get involved in the plant diversity, systematics and herbarium research, plant ecology, plant molecular biology, plant microbe interaction, pharmacognosy and various other uh, research that are related to the plants. Next it is the CIMAP which is the Central Institute of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants. And it is also the again constituent laboratory of the CSIR which is established in 1959. This uh, CIMAP institute involved in, uh, in the various uh, trainings to the farmers and growers, cultivators, those who want to become the entrepreneur. This uh, training list if he, the learner go through from this uh, website of the CIMAP, they will come to know that they help in the uh, cultivation techniques, they help in the value added product development techniques, they help in the uh, analytical or standardization of the uh, medicinal plants too. Recently CMAP has extended its wings overviews with the scientific uh, collaboration agreements with the Malaysia. Whatever the centers of the CMAP that are located according to the different uh, agroclimatic zones so that to understand the uh, diversity and climatic or weather conditions of the uh, India. The mint varieties that are released and the agro packages developed and popularized by the CIMAP has made India the global leader in the mints and related industrial products because mint is the second most uh, uh, commonly used flavorant in the pharmaceutical or nutraceutical food industry and thus uh, it, uh, it is a very um, proud thing for all we Indians that uh, we are providing the mints to the world. Then CIMAP has released the several varieties of the various medicinal plants. Uh, we in a uh, lecture of the cultivation or agrotechnics of the medicinal plants learn that the various varieties of the ashwagandha or shatavari or the other type of the medicinal plants that are developed by the CIMAP. Next it is the CDRI which is a Central Drug Research Institute and again it is the constituent laboratory of the CSIR and that is established in 1951. Now it is the uh, means today the CDRI is the unique model for the modernized drug research in India and it is involved uh, in identification, synthesis, screening, development and upscaling up to the clinical studies. Many of the products that are developed by the CDRI scientists are in a market. Uh, the uh, renowned are the Arte Ether, which is a brand name is Emul that is uh, useful in the malaria. Then uh, BECB that is a brand name is the Membrisure which is helpful in the dementia. Then Saint Croman which is a Saheli which we all know very good uh, contraceptive. Then uh, there are various technologies that are transferred by the CDRI scientists to the pharmaceutical companies and they are uh, helping in the economic growth of the research in India. There are more than 350 Indian patents and 19 international patents are obtained by the CDRI.
then next it is the ncl that is the national cable chemical laboratory which is established in 1950 in pune and this is also again the constituent laboratory of the csir and it is internationally known for its excellence in the chemistry and chemical engineering and it has the lot of uh, uh, outstanding uh, research work especially it is it can be exhibited through its partnership with the various national multinational pharmaceutical industries like the alembi cadila cipla dabur mqr fdc lenmark glenmark lupin orchid ranbax c uh, usv etc next it is the nmpb which is a national medicinal plant board which is uh, set up in the november 2000 by the government of india and this is involved uh, in the various types of the matters related to the medicinal plant and support policies for the growth trade export conservation and cultivation next it is the indian agriculture research institute which is involved in the various agro techniques plant breeding plant pathology microbiology post harvest technology etc next it is the agarkar research institute which is in pune maharashtra and it deals with the biodiversity then paleobiology bioenergy bioprospecting plant breeding and the various nanotechnologies involved in the plant medicines next it is the national bureau of plant genetic resources that is nbpgr and this uh, specifically involved in the plant genetic resources management and its use and policy or issues related to the exchange of genetic resources intellectual property uh, issues or various types of the legislation and treaties that are involved related to the uh, plant genetic resources next it is the jami ahmedabad university delhi Uh, which is uh, actually establishment means begins with the establishment of a small uh, unani clinic in the year 1906 by the hakim hafiz abdul mazid and uh, who was the very well known practitioner of a unani system of uh, his time and then he had a vision of making the practice of unani medicine into the scientific uh, discipline uh, so that uh, he could be dispensed in more efficacious manner to the patients and hence he uh, given the name hamdard to his venture which means sympathy for all and sharing of the pain so along with that hamdard college of pharmacy was set up uh, with the same objectives of providing the education and training in all branches of the pharmacy and then the hamdard laboratory uh, which is the unani and ayurvedic pharmaceutical company associated with the uh, hamdard foundation a charitable uh, education trust and uh, i think that in summers we always used to consume the sharbat that is ruabza which is very popular uh, nowadays uh, safi rogan badam shirin solin joshina these are the very uh, popular products of this hamdard uh, laboratory that are utilized by the various uh, indians as well as it is available in the global market so in this lecture 33 we have studied the few institutes involved in medicinal and aromatic plant research because uh, uh, all institutes we have not covered but hope the learners have got idea that how these renowned institute from india are playing the important role in developing the various commercial products from the traditional medicine knowledge how they are uh, involving from the simple cultivation techniques development to the varieties development to the product development and even uh, to the development of the various uh, medicines thank you